Hey, what's going on? It's How To Tuesday, and we just whipped a loop in a fly line. Um, I forgot on the last time to teach you how to mark your fly line. Old school trick right here. This is one that came from Lefty Cray. It's very, very simple. Some fly lines come with the fly line marking on them. That is awesome. It'll tell you this is a weight forward, 10 weight floating. Okay. That is fantastic. If that works for you, if it stays on, that's awesome. There'll be plenty of fly lines. If you've got some older fly lines or maybe some manufacturers don't do it. I don't know about all manufacturers, but if you have a bunch of fly rods and reels, it is very hard to tell what line is what, especially if you have like a big trip coming up and you're like, well, you know what? I'm going to put a brand new fly line on this one. Your other fly line doesn't have a lot of use. It could still be a great practice line, or maybe you'll put it back on. It could be a great spare line. If you just put that in your tackle bag and you've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 weights, and it's hard to tell the difference between a 9 weight and a 10 weight or an 8 weight and a 9 weight. That's kind of hard. It, it, it really is. And so there's a way to do it. You do it with a Sharpie. And it's very, very, very simple. You, when you do it with a Sharpie, you just, uh, let's see, what can I mark this on? I'll just do it right here on this so I don't get it all over my table. But I've got a Sharpie in one hand and I've got the fly line in another. And a wide bar is five, okay? That equals five. So if this is a five weight line, I make one long bar. And I'm just kind of rotating this line around in my hand with the Sharpie in the other hand. And I'm making sure that I'm coating both sides. So this line is an 11 weight, right? So we got one wide black mark. Then down the line a little bit, I'm going to make another long black mark. Okay. I'm choosing to do these about an inch and a half long because it, you know you get out in the sun salt water on it and all of a sudden that inch and a half uh can kind of disappear so now if you look at this i've got two wide marks signifying five and five that'd be 10 this is an 11 weight line so then i will do a much smaller one right here So now when I pick this line up, it will have five, five, and one. Okay, so that's a, an 11 weight line. I do that on both ends of the fly line. And then I know, what, no matter what, I know what this line is, right? And, uh, you know, you have these stickers like, like this one right here that come with the line. And you can put those on your reels. And that's great, but they usually fall off. or get messed up. This is something, I don't know why we can't figure out how to do it better, but the best, the best is probably old school, like Lefty Cray said, and just do it with these bands. So that is how you, you mark uh, and identify a fly line right there. You take a, a wide mark is five, a narrow mark is one, and you signify what that fly line is. So if you, uh, like me, have a whole bunch of fly lines around now at least you'll know what they are all right so you get in the habit of marking them when you get them and um you'll be set all right that's how to mark a fly line we'll talk to you next week see you